everybody, welcome to Franny Square. I am so excited about this video. As I told you before, I'm going to be working with Tressalore and I'm going to be carrying their products on my website, which hopefully will be launching soon. The holdup has been getting the business license from the state of Pennsylvania. They're a little bit backed up, but hopefully that will be coming through very shortly. In the meantime, I've worked on the website. It's almost done. I've been putting up the open box products that I told you I'd be carrying, the items that I've reviewed and I'm not going to wear and I'm selling at discounts. So those items are up there and I'm adding the whole Tress Allure line of wigs to my website. I'm so excited. So I went out and purchased a bunch of Tress Allure wigs so that I can show you different colors, different styles. And I love hearing how you think they look on me, but I'd also like you to look at them with an eye toward what they would look like on you. And once the website launches, I'm gonna have a live wig party with my sisters and my mother. It could be wigs and wine or wigs and water, whatever your favorite drink is, hot cocoa. And we'll just hang out, we'll answer questions for you. We will try on wigs for you. As a matter of fact, if you see a wig behind me and I'm still getting a few more, they're on order. Um, and you wanna see one of my sisters or my mother try it on because you think their face is more like yours, you can do that because it's gonna be live and you can just make a request, you know, Sharon, can you try on? I, I think I'll have them named or numbered so then you can choose the specific wig and you can see it on whomever you would like to see it on. So I thought that would be fun. Um, in the meantime, I thought I'd just, as I received the wigs, start to show you some of them so you can get an idea of the products. And also two things I will ask from you in the comments, if you're interested in the live show, let me know the times that are best for you just so I can try to choose a time that'll be best for the most people possible. I will be offering a grand opening sale and an additional special for people who come to the live show. And the other thing I'd like to know is, are there other brands that you'd like to see me carry? I'm starting slowly. I chose Tress Allure and I really love their products. And hopefully going forward, I'll be carrying a lot of other lines as well. It's so funny how life can take you on a journey that you absolutely were not expecting. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that I would get into the wig business, but that's the way life took me and I am loving every minute of it. I love the emails I get from you, the comments telling me, that you're excited to try wigs or you're getting more confidence about trying wigs by seeing me have fun with them. And my goal is to eradicate any stigma around wig wearing. You can wear wigs because you have an illness or because your hair is thinning or just because you love wigs and you wanna have fun. All right, enough of all of that. Let's start looking at the Tress Allure wigs. So this first wig I'm wearing as soon as I got it out of the box, I put it on immediately. I love this wig, the style, the color, everything for me. But again, look at it in terms of what you think would look good on you. So I'll just tell you a little bit about this wig. It's called Picture Perfect, and it's in the color 1723R8, which means it's rooted in a darker root, and the color is described as beige blonde, auburn blend rooted and medium brown so you can definitely see the auburn in there you can see the blondes and the medium brown this color could be so good for so many people this wig has a sheer mono top so you can part it anywhere on the top and a temple to temple lace front which i will show you when i show you the cap it's described as a silky straight long layered bob or a lob that falls below the shoulders with a part anywhere collar length fringe. The silky sheer comfort monotop lace front cap is designed with a double hand tied knotting to deliver an undetectable hairline and provide all day, every day comfort. So let me just show you that hairline. I think it is done really well. Take a look at that. So that you could put it, you could pull it back so easily. And, what I did since I did wear this one yesterday is I applied some heat to it. It's a heat friendly fiber and it comes in 32 colors and I just pulled it back like this, shot it with a hot hair dryer, and then shot it with 
the cool air and held it there for a few seconds and then just let it go. And the reason I did that was because I wanted it off my face. I wanted that shape and I did it on this side as well. Very easy to work with. So as I said, this is heat friendly also. The hair length it says is 10 to 14 and a half inches. So you can see the length on me. The fringe is 11 inches. The crown 14 and a half inches. The nape 10 inches. The cap size 21 and a half inches. Now I have a 21 and a half inch circumference head plus I'm wearing a wig grip. And I put this on and it fits me pretty well. I think I could even tighten it a little bit but it's fitting me pretty well. I haven't adjusted it at all. And the weight is 5.29 ounces. So I'm just gonna spin for you so you can see it. And I know a lot of people worry about heat friendly fibers getting tangled easily. I wore this all day yesterday and I combed it only once during the day. And then when I took it off, I combed it again and it was not very tangled. I was surprised because I was expecting with the heat friendly that it was gonna be all tangled and knotted up. But if you look at these fibers, my neighbor even commented on this. They are fine fibers. They look and feel like hair. It's unbelievable. And my neighbor's brutally honest and he said to me, some of them look a little wiggy on you, but this one does not. So anyway, let me just spin for you. All right, now I'm gonna take it off and show you the cap. So there's a lace front, temple to temple, a full mono part that you can part anywhere in here. Open wefting that has some stretch, definitely not a lot, but some. The ear tab made of the nice material. You know how I feel about lace ear tabs. That's not true for everybody, but I'm sensitive and they itch me a little bit. And the nice material extended nape and Velcro adjusters. And I'm not sure if this is a velvet or a felt, but it's the nice material. And I want you to know, regardless of whether or not I sell products, I will tell you how I feel about them. So, because I want you to be happy with your purchases and I want you to know exactly what you're purchasing. And you know, things that bother me may not bother you. So for example, the lace ear tabs, you may not find them itchy. I do, and I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, so that is picture perfect. Let me just comb her. You can see she combs easily, even though I've been messing around with her. And she is heat friendly, so you will want to apply heat at times to just keep her looking good. Okay, so Tressalore carries a wide range of features on their wigs. This next one I'm going to show you, I have in two colors and it's a basic cap wig. So it will be a, at a more affordable price point. I wanna make sure that I carry all different price points. So the two colors that I got this one in, she's called Avery. It's described as a mid-length cut that has a casual feminine look. It's synthetic hair, it's a basic cap construction, and I will show you that cap. So let's take a look. The two colors I got it in are in Sugar Brulee, and sunset glow so you can see these two colors here and if i look at my swatches i got swatches here so that i could show you guys the sugar brulee has these colors and it goes from a very deep brunette down to this medium brown and blonde and the sunset has these colors there so hopefully you can see that and if i hold up the wig, you can see these colors. I don't really see that dark color so much in it. Um, but the sugar brulee, I do because it's rooted. The other one is not rooted. All right, so let's just take a look at the cap first and then I'll put it on for you. All right, so as I said, the cap is a basic cap, no lace, no monofilament at all some permatease right here, open wefting, 
The ear tabs are laced, so you know right then and there. I find them a little bit itchy, and um, that really depends on you whether or not you find them itchy. It has a regular length nape, and a nape is actually not that lace material. It's nice. And the bra strap adjusters. So very basic cap. Now let me try this on for you. This is basically out of the box, so just shake it up a little bit. I haven't done anything to this one. Get my ear tabs right. Okay, oh, nice layers, look at that. Okay, so things that I always look for when I'm getting a basic cap are number one, rooting. Now this one doesn't have rooting. It's highlighted to the part and it actually, I can't, yeah, there's some dark highlights under there, but it's not rooted like this is darker here. Okay, so I look for rooting so that way you don't see the part basically. And I also look for something with a bang because the basic cap doesn't have any lace here. Now you can pull it back and leave some hairs out, you know, however you want to style that. And I do like these layers. I like this cut a lot. Now with the permatees, I imagine you could really fluff up and get a lot of volume. Wow, <laughs> you definitely can. Or I think I would probably tuck it behind my ear like this. Yeah, I like that look. I don't have measurements on this one. I don't know why I'm looking at all the paperwork and I don't see any measurements, but you can see it on me. I have an eight and a half inch face from forehead to chin to give you some idea, 21 and a half inch circumference. And this cap I have not adjusted at all and it does feel tighter than the picture perfect cap. So it can go tighter. This I do not think would fit on a large head. Um, I think it would fit on an average head because I am 21 and a half inches and I'm wearing a wig grip. So that adds a little bit to it. All right, so let me just spin for you. And this is the sugar brulee color. I do like this style. Okay, so that's Avery, and I will be trying on both colors for you during the live show. I just wanted to kind of introduce you to the styles right now. Okay, this next wig I also have in two colors, and this comes with what they call a cool comfort cap, which is a basic cap, but they are heat-friendly wigs, so they do have that feature. And the name of this wig is Flawless Waves, and here, let me take her off the head here. This is the color... 1426R10, which is a light red brown, gold blonde highlights, rooted medium brown. So you can see there is the rooting there again, since you don't have the mono part or a crown or a top, the rooting is really nice. And here's the color there. And I don't know if you can see, it does have some red in it and blonde. This is a really pretty color. I like this color a lot. This one does have bangs also, because you don't have the lace front, that's great. And the other color I have it in is called 523849R8, which is described as three-tone gray rooted medium brown. Okay, another rooted wig, you can see there, and it's a three-tone gray with medium brown. So if you're a brunette going gray, this could be a good color for you. And I tried to get a lot of grays for because I know a lot of you are interested in gray, so I did get a lot of different color grays. Okay, so this wig is described as mid-length layers of beachy waves, feathered bangs, a smooth silky top, and a bob back that falls below the collar. Featuring a cool comfort cap designed to mold itself and memorize the contours of your head for all day and everyday comfort. So let me show you the cap first. Then I'll try it on for you. Okay, you can see here, nice material, uh, but no lace front. Again, nice material on the ear tabs, an extended nape, 
with Velcro adjusters and open wafting with some stretch and there's permatease you can see here. And this comes in 31 colors, it looks like. So let me just try this on. Okay. So you can see it definitely has waves and bangs. Let me make sure this is in the right place. There's the rooting. So it definitely hides the fact that there's no monofilament part and the bangs. And for me, you know me, I'm not a bang person, but I do like something there. I would probably push them to the side. I don't like to wear straight bangs, although you could if you like a bang. Um, but it's nice because it hides the fact that there's no lace front. Okay. Now the um, lengths on this, the hair length is three and a half inches to seven and a half inches. It actually seems even longer than seven and a half considering I'm far head to chin eight and a half. So I don't know how they're getting that number. The crown is five and a half inches. The fringe, three and a quarter inches. The nape, six inches. See that there? Uh, the cap size, 21 and a half inches. And the cap size, oh, I forgot to put on glasses with Avery, I think. I'll have to do that for you during the live show. Um, the cap to me feels, it fits perfectly. I wouldn't need to adjust it. And I am wearing the wig grip, so don't forget that 21 and a half inch circumference with the wig grip. And the weight is three and a half ounces. It is nice and light. And you do have permatease up here. And I would, again, I'm a person who likes to wear my hair behind my ears. There we go. Let me show you the ear tab and I'll try on the glasses for you too. The ear tab comes to here and the metal stay is that long there. So I can form it to my head like that. And let me try a pair of glasses underneath the ear tabs. Seems to fit fine for me. Over top, over top is no problem at all. It doesn't even really touch. So it's not at a different angle. I'm not sure why certain styles are different, but this one, no problem. All right, so I think I turned when I showed you the measurements, but I'll do it anyway, again. This is 1426R10, the color I believe. Yes, 1426R10. It's a cute style. And I know that somebody with the initials ML commented that they're looking for strawberry blondes. This does have some red in it, but it's more blonde than red. I will keep getting as many colors as I can so I can find that color for you that you like. All right, now for those of you that would like to see the gray, I will put it on and warn you that gray doesn't really go with my skin tone. You may wanna ask my mother to put this on during the live show. She's good for the gray coloring. Okay, here we go. So this is the three-tone gray with the brown roots. <laughs> Kind of goes with my shirt today. And interestingly, this one seems a little bit wavier to me than the other one. Not all wigs are exactly the same, even in the same style. So it's a really cute style though, I like it. And the thing I like about this style in gray, and they do have a lot of grays, Tressalore, so I'll be getting all the colors. This has a youthful look to it, I would say. And I'll just turn for you so you can see all the color. Really cute style. All right, on to the next. Okay, next I have another basic cap style and it's not heat friendly. So it's your basic synthetic wig. It will be in that most affordable category. And I have to say the fibers are beautiful on all of these wigs. I don't know if I mentioned it on any of the other wigs, but 
just like the picture perfect wig has the really fine fibers these are really nice you can see here so this one is called charlotte and she is in the color dark smoke gray so another gray and i actually ordered her in another color called mimosa highlighted i just haven't gotten her yet so she'll be here for the live show um, she is described as the quintessential textured bob, effortless style, and tussled finish features a breathable, open wefted, cool comfort cap, wispy layers with soft curls throughout the crown and back, subtle lift at the root for added volume without any bulk or weight, and carefree movement. A very best seller, it says. So let's take a look at the cap first. Here we go, here's your cap, it's basic cap, permatees here, open wafting with some stretch, has the nice material here for the ear tab. I'm glad to see some basic caps coming with the nice material, that's huge for me. Um, the regular nape, not extended, with Velcro adjusters though. So that is what the cap looks like. And now I'm going to try it on now. Keep in mind, gray is not my color. Now, this is right out of the box, and I would say right off the bat, the cap feels looser to me than the other caps. I have not adjusted it at all or done anything to it. Now, <laughs> I know when I had on my Raquel Welsh unfiltered. A lot of people did not like me with the messy look, so I don't know if I'm gonna get the same review for this. But again, keep it in mind for you and your face. And I, I would probably, for myself, tame it a little bit, comb it, and probably put it behind my ears. Definitely a looser cap. I would have to adjust this for me. There we go. Pretty color though, look at that. And again, I don't have monofilament, but I have rooting. And I have this to hide the fact that there is no lace front and I can wear more down or push back, which I would probably do behind my ears like that. You can see the color is silvery and it has almost like a black root there, it looks like, and also underneath, which gives it a very natural look, gives it more dimension. Okay, so I am going to, you know, this one reminds me of when I was trying on the grays with my mother, there was a wig called Fascinating, and that one, surprisingly, everybody really liked on me, and it was almost in like a white or all silver color, I can't remember. But this one, the curl and everything reminds me of that wig. Okay, let me spin for you. Let me give you the measurements too. It says the fringe is six and a half inches. The crown is six and a half inches. The nape is three inches. Cap size says 21 and a quarter. Now that is surprising to me because that's smaller than a lot of their other cap size, but I got room here. I don't know what's going on. So this one feels bigger to me. And the weight is 2.5 ounces, so it is light. Okay, that's Charlotte. Okay, this next wig is called Soft Wave Bob. She has a lace front, a mono top, and she is heat friendly as well. And this is the color 24102R12. So she's rooted, you can see. And that's described as golden blonde highlighted, platinum rooted, and light golden brown. You can definitely see the platinum and the golden blonde in there and the rooting. Let's take a look at the cap first and then I'll put her on. And I'm gonna just read the description to you. It says, the sheer comfort mono top slash lace front cap has a double hand knotted soft monofilament mesh cap 
and an ear-to-ear -ear lace front for an undetectable hairline. A mid-length bob with soft waves, specially tapered and pre-teased roots that give lift without any of the bulk or weight. Okay, so we can see here the lace goes ear tab to ear tab there. Nice ear tab material. You got the full mono top so you can part it anywhere you like. Open wefting and a decent amount of stretch in this one. An extended nape and Velcro adjusters. Let's try her on. This color, I have a feeling is gonna be a bit light for me. All right. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Let me make sure the ear tabs are in the right place. Okay, off the bat, I would probably adjust this a little bit tighter it's a very shaggy type look. Let's look at the lace front. Lace front looks pretty good. I didn't put it in the right spot on me. There we go. Looks good. And the ear tabs, I'm trying to do this without adjusting it. The ear tabs come down to here and the metal stay up to there. And let's look at the monofilament part. So you should be able to part it anywhere along here. Let's see if I can pull it so you can see. Anywhere you part it should be fine. Okay, and this is right out of the box, so it hasn't been styled at all. The measurements there's dark like around the face, which is kind of nice actually. I like how the rooting is all over. I do think this color is a little bit light for me. So try to keep in mind how it would look on you. Uh, the length is four to five inches, which is, that seems right to me. Cause my, I'm eight and a half inches this way. The fringe, four inches, the crown, five inches. The nape, four inches, cap size, 21 and a half, and the weight, three ounces. And this does feel very light. And it's nice and shaggy. I could definitely play with that. Again, I'd probably go a little bit darker for myself, but I do like the style of this. I'm gonna do a spin for you. And she has all the features. She's heat friendly, has a lace front and a mono top. Really nice. All right, on to the next. Okay, the last wig I'm gonna review for you today is called the Angled Pixie. And it's in color 385160, which is described as a light gray. So here's the color. And again, don't go by the color on me. This is not gonna be a good color on me. Uh, it has a cool comfort cap and it's heat friendly. So no lace front, no monofilament part. If you're looking for a more basic wig, but one that you can style with heat, this would be a good one. You have your basic front. The ear tabs are a nice material. The open wefting with stretch. You have some permatees here. And in the back, it's an extended nape with Velcro adjusters. And it's described as an asymmetric side swept pixie with feathered texture and volume, long enough to brush behind or over the ears. So let me try this on. And right from the start, I'm gonna say this cap fits me a little bit bigger. I would need to tighten this up. It says the cap size is 21 and a half. I am 21 and a half, but I have my wig grip on and I could still tighten this somewhat. Oh, I like how this can go behind the ears. All right, let's, while this is on, let's look at the ear tab. Comes down to here and the metal tab there. And 
I think I forgot to put on glasses with the last one. Remember, in the live show, you can ask me to do anything. I'll have glasses ready. I'm going to do that while we're thinking of it here. Under the ear tab, not a problem. Over the ear tab, absolutely not a problem. Okay, so let me just try to push these ear tabs in a little bit. So you can see the colors are light gray. It's really pretty. Look at that. It has some darker undertones there. And it is asymmetrical, so one side is longer, and you could wear it like this. Let me give you the measurements. The hair length is two and a half to seven inches long. The fringe left side is four and a half, or is four and a quarter to seven inches. Um, why is it not telling me right side? That's interesting. I don't see a right side number here. Crown, four and a quarter to six inches. Um, nape, two and a half inches. And the weight is 2.5 ounces. It's very light. So if you like wearing a straighter style, you could do that and put it behind one ear like that. That's really cute. I really like this. I'm going to have to try to get it in another color because this is not my color. Let me spin for you. Nice. This doesn't have rooting, but I don't think the part looks bad, especially if you were to fluff it up. Now, remember, I'm taking these right out of the box and just hung them up. So, because I wanted you to see it that way, but look at that, you could really, I, I don't think that looks bad at all. And you have this fringe here, so you don't have to worry about not having a lace front. You see how bad that would look. Yeah, and you have some permatease, so you could definitely puff that up a little bit more if you wanted. Really cute style. I like this. And you can see the um, hair is very fine. So I do like that. To me, it looks more natural than some of those thicker. Uh, and, and that could be because I have very fine hair. Some people do have thicker, coarser hair, like my sister Melissa definitely does. I find these fibers to really be in line with my own hair, which I really like. And here you can see the bang. Just want to show that to you. It looks like, it says it comes to seven inches, which is probably about right since I'm eight and a half. Maybe a little bit longer on that side. This side shorter, just so you can see the difference. I like this style though. So we have people coming tonight for dinner. I'm switching back to my favorite, which is the Picture Perfect and I'll be right back. Okay, so that was just a few styles and colors with different features from Tressalore. I just wanted to introduce you to the brand if you haven't seen it before. I'd love to hear your feedback. What do you think of the brand? What do you think of the colors, the fibers? What are you looking for in particular? Are there other brands you'd like me to carry? Please put list those in the comments below as well. And don't forget the live show. I wanna know when it's best to hold that live show. We're gonna have a grand opening sale on all of these wigs. And I'm gonna offer a little something extra to the people who are actually at the live show. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. For those of you who crochet with me as well, I am working on another design. I've had so much going on trying to get this website done and trying to establish relationships with the different manufacturers. So I had a bit of a hiatus, but I do have a design in mind that I'm working on and hopefully I will have a tutorial out on that shortly. Okay, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own and I'll see you soon.